All right, boys. So I don't know when's the last time I recorded uh, me doing any progress to my truck, but uh, I got a black fender. So got that on. It's pretty good. It's got some scratches here and there, but no major dents or anything like that. So it's not lined up either. The gap's all big, but you know, it's just for now. I wanted something to hold uh, the fuse box, and then eventually I'm gonna install the the battery tray, and then I'll put the battery here that I can keep plugged up um, and keep all of this, the ECU and this stuff over here. Cause sometimes when I needed to roll the truck forward or backwards, all that was just hanging on the tire and it would just start scratching it. So, <clears throat> but, but yeah, so there she is. Um, pulling the motor out now. So there's that. I should have this motor out by today. Hopefully if I don't get busy with anything else, um, I've been cleaning up this other side all day today, so. All right, so here we are, another day again. Or night, I should say. But anyways, this is my motor that was in my BMW. Manual Trans, AR5 of a Colorado, low 5.3. Uh, this is the motor we're gonna use to replace that motor in our single cab GMC or Honestly, I don't know what friend I'm gonna go with, but it is a GMC uh, Sierra truck. Uh, so yeah, um, almost done with pulling this thing out. I have uh, fuel lines out. This uh, right here, this EVAP one is out. Uh, power steering lines are off. My steering rack is off. All my three motor uh, mount bolts are off on both sides. Uh, you can see down there, uh, I got some, you know, just AC lines and stuff out of the way. Um, all the coolant lines, all the heater lines. So there's two heater hoses there and some hoses that go through here to the uh, expansion tank. So I got it all out of the way, uh, kind of just so I can get ready to pull this motor out. Uh, the vacuum for the booster that goes there, over here chilling. Most of the harness is off. It's all just kind of wrapped over here. Um, this is the harness that goes up and under down here under the oil pan and goes back there to the crank and starter and all that good shit. So that's where all that's at. So I got all my wiring to this side over and that side. Uh, and then under I have, you can kind of see it maybe. So the headers are off from the white pipe. Uh, trans knot is off. Transmission cross member is out. I don't know where I put it. Where is the transmission from? Don't tell me I lost it now. Huh. Yeah, so anyways, that's out. Uh, so I just gotta hook it up and pull it out technically and I'm gonna have a few things I'm sure I forget. What's up gang? There's one right here, except for my La Malona. Fastest truck in the world. Fastest V6 truck in the world. And then- $1,000 race? Once I get done? On nitrous? See if it keep up, keep on nitrous, on nitrous from a dig, I'll do it. Man, that won't keep up. Blow up my sock for 60. <laughs> Anyways, on to the next. Now I got to get the uh, harmonic balancer out. So I got the puller over there for it too. So pull that out and then we'll be uh, pretty set to get this thing going today. It feels nice out. So I'm feeling good, optimistic. Should get some good things done, but usually when I'm being optimistic and I feel good, yeah, I have the worst luck, so we'll see what the fuck happens. But yeah, I need to buy some of these. I need to buy me a little puller uh, for myself. I just, I always say that and then I never do it. And then when I need it, you know, I'm not going to wait a week till eBay delivers it. So, you already know how that goes. But yeah, so we're going to pull this bad boy out right now. Uh, we can see the water pump's leaking a little bit. And then we'll get the water pump out. The whole front accessory and then we'll take the intake and everything else as we go so yep alrighty so as you guys can tell we have the uh sierra's motor out uh just missions over there hanging out uh i couldn't get these damn plugs off so there's two plugs up here and then there's two of them and sometimes from the factory they fucking put glue in them for some reason <laughs> so I couldn't get them off. I didn't want to tear up the connector or the wires and mess it up. So, uh, 
I just unbolted the motor, the, I took the three bolts off the stall and the transmission uh, bolts and then separated the motor from the transmission up here. And then I brought the motor over here now. Uh, and when I go install the new motor, that's just the same way I'm gonna do it. So I guess we'll just roll with it. Um, but yeah, so I need uh, stock headers off of this thing. I need the uh, compressor, the water pump, the alternator bracket, uh, and basically all of the front drive system. Uh, you guys can tell my motor has nothing. So I need all of that truck space and stuff for this motor. I already took the flex, pay, uh, flex plate off and slapped it onto the back of this motor. Uh, I noticed that my valve cover is different. This is, uh, it has this little stem. And then this one is, uh, has a hole. So that one's a, that one's basically a dude and this is a girl, basically. <laughs> Uh, and then this has the EGR bullshit. So this crap that recycles, this goes back into the intake. Uh, which is stock intakes over there on top of my transmission. Uh, and so I think I'm gonna try to delete that if I can. Um, I know they sell a plate uh, for them, but I have a bunch of stock intakes over here. I'm gonna try to see if I can find one that didn't have the EGR bullshit going back in there. And then I'm gonna see if I can find another set of headers uh, or at least just this side here. Um, that doesn't have that uh, this piece here, so I can just all at once just delete the EGR bullshit. All right, all right, all right. So you may be wondering, what the fuck's going on? Why do we have two motors, both without heads, pretty much torn down completely? Uh, yeah. Let's just say, in the middle of me moving all the accessories, all the front end stuff um the headers the motor mounts everything the flex plate off of the motor this is the motor that was in this truck the 97 mile motor you can kind of tell because it's fucking dirty it's a mess uh so this is the 97,000 mile motor that uh, had that ticking noise uh and uh, the heads are i don't even know there's a bunch of parts over there basically though the issue that happened was when slapping on the crank bolt because I was putting on the new truck uh, harmonic balancer because uh, this motor had a F body spacing one. So we're going with all this truck stuff off of this motor onto this motor because this is my 5.3 with 80,000 miles and it has the sloppy stage 2 cam, 243 heads and all the good shit. I was having lifters and everything. So I was going to use this and drop it into my truck. Well, what happened, I, you're probably not going to tell. Well, you can kind of see it there. But that right there, all the way in there, is the rest. Oh, this just pisses me off just talking about it all over, but. Uh, of this fucking bolt. So yeah, that happened. Probably my fault because these are torque yield, but I've never had an issue with them breaking. I've reused them before. This bolt in particular, I might have reused i might have like taken it off and put it on taken it off and put it on a couple more times than it should have i typically only use it for two times so for example that one's an oem one took it off this motor once and i'm gonna reuse it one time this one was on a different motor i took it off put it on this motor then i uh was doing f body spacing so i took it off and then i put the f body uh balancer back on and used it again and then right now I used this one again and everything went good it was going in all the way in then I know it just got really tight stopped they didn't finish tightening it so my dumb ass was like oh well I guess my gun's fucking weak so I get in my uh I don't know where it's at oh my big ass half inch uh, ratchet and I was cranking it pretty hard and then I was like okay well this is too hard but you know I just wanted to get it tightened and I didn't want to stop and I might have pushed it a little too far so uh, more of the story, I guess just go buy these fucking bolts. They're like three bucks, I think. And uh, you shouldn't have any issues. Um, <laughs> I guess it just happens. So it's like, whatever, I'm not sure about it too much. Can't sit here and cry. So that happened. So uh, anyways, like I said, 
I have all new, this motor in uh, particular has the front timing cover and the rear timing cover, the rear main seals and all the gaskets. So they're all new. For example, this is all that new stuff that I'm gonna slap onto this motor and uh, get rid of the old shit that was on this motor. So uh, the rear main seal had a pretty bad leak. You can kind of see all that right there in the bottom. So I'm gonna change the route, change out the rear main seal, the front main seal. Change those two out. Um, I'm gonna use my uh, 243 heads that are milled, 30,000s. LS7 lifters over there. I just took them out this motor. Um, my LS1 head gaskets and then my sloppy stage 2 cam. Uh, here's a stock one off of this motor. So I just pulled that out. I'm gonna slap that in right now. I'm gonna get some uh, assembly lube on it real quick. Uh, Slap it in, then drop the LS7 lifters, drop those in, then smack the uh, the head gaskets off of this motor, which I'm technically now reusing head gaskets, but I mean, this motor's literally idled like three, four times. It has never driven, it has never been really out there, so head gaskets only too bad. I'm gonna smack them back on, fuck it. Alrighty, so here we have the motor, all the, uh, for the most part put together I'm still missing the headers uh coal packs and the uh, spark plugs and the plug wires but got motor mount on ac condenser water pump is on uh the harmonic balancer both the belts alternator and uh power steering bracket all in there all bolted up this motor mounts on there um but yeah so i cleaned up the the valve covers, I'm not going to paint them again. Uh, I just don't want to mess with it. But I cleaned up the heads a little bit more. Uh, so these are the 243 heads that are milled 30 thousandths. Um, I took my time and I swapped out the front and rear main seal on this motor. Um, so it's got a new front and rear main seal off of that other motor because that one had all new seals. So I put them on this motor. I cleaned up the... Uh, valley cover and then all this stuff right here is just covered up because i don't want nothing to fall on there uh but yeah so heads are on they're torqued ls1 head gaskets all the good shit on it so i swapped the flex plate over and i think all i need now really is just the headers and like i said all the coal packs and spark plugs and and plug wires and i'll be ready to lift this motor up and bring it over here, slap it onto the transmission, put all the bolts on it, put the start uh, torque converter bolts on it, and then put the starter back in, uh, and then run it back in there. All right, what's up, guys? So here we have uh, the motor in. You guys can tell I still need the the intake and stuff, but most of it's already there. Got this bright ass light up here. Where's it at? does a good job though uh, but yeah so i just need the intake and once i get the intake in there and the fuel rails and all that good stuff in there um i'll just need the front end like the core support and radiator and uh you know we're back on track to putting this thing together and getting it painted or wrapped whatever i decide to end up doing because obviously the fender's black um but yeah so decided to make a quick video before uh i get too far along so this is a rat now. All I gotta do now, uh, I gotta take these uh, this tape off when I'm ready for the intake runners. Don't want a little a nut or a piece of plastic or something to drop in there and ruin your day. So, but yeah, once I get the intake in there, I can put this big part of the loom over the intake and run it to the you know corresponding areas. Um, but I've got the loom. It goes down here under the oil pan into down there. Oh yeah, I'm gonna need my starter. Here's the starter at. Starter's gonna need to be ran or put in. So I gotta put the starter in. Uh, other than the starter though, yeah, everything else is back on. Like I said, motor's in there. All my uh, hoses, uh, AC lines. So, power steering's connected. I just gotta run this. Obviously this runs out here towards like where the uh, core support's at, but 
we don't have that right now so just so it's not in the way uh but yeah I'm trying to think oh yeah so that's what i was going to uh so i did end up doing the egr delete so i got this uh manifold on this side here has no uh egr port like this is the original header that came on this truck so it's got a port there for the egr shit and the, i don't know where it's at oh there it is so this would have gone into the header and then it mounts something like this right there on the head and then this part goes into your intake and it's got a plug there uh basically it just recirculates some of the exhaust back into the side of your intake like here but so what i'm gonna do uh this is the stock intake right here where you can see the port uh and then as i just showed you here this one doesn't have it so this is gonna be the one i'm gonna use uh i think everything else is pretty similar so i'm gonna just change the drive by wire throttle body and then put the drive by cable throughout the body on it and my fuel rails and my you know vacuum uh hose for the booster and all that stuff over there that way i can use that intake manifold and basically don't have to buy the egr delete plates that they sell on on, on ebay they use a little block off plate here and another block off plate there i'd have to wait a week and i mean since i have the header and that intake from that motor i just take those off and slap them on here basically get a free egr delete so that's what i'm gonna be doing here in a bit and then once i get that done and once i get to the point where i'm gonna start the motor up or at least give it a crank and make sure it's good uh i'll pick the camera back up then so yep all right so as you can as you can tell damn today i can't talk bro uh radiator core support got that okay i got my uh power steering cooler bolted up ran you know what i'm saying goes through there all up in there got a new condenser well not a new condenser but a good condenser uh for the ac so i can't find my the nuts to go here now but uh yeah so that's that you know i got a couple bolts in here i don't have it fully in there i think these are still loose Oh, no, I tightened them. Oh, no, they're loose. You can see a spin. So I got to tighten those down. Uh, radiator. It's on. So I got the hoses on. Uh, I got. I put all the hoses in. Uh, I lost the the clip that goes in here at first. So I took it off of the junkyard one. So I got them in there. So both of these, the bottom and I mean, the top and bottom one are good. Lower radiator hoses in there. So everything was good. All right, guys. So... We're gonna fire up the GMC truck today. Uh, I got the expansion tank I needed. I've pulled it up with water now, so we should be good. Um, batteries plugged up and everything, so got the keys here. Go ahead and fire her up, and uh, we'll see uh, if she fires up correctly and on the first try and whatnot. The battery might be dead too, so let me flip the camera around actually. Hold on. All right, so, there you go. Here goes nothing. If I can find the hole. Okay, some park. Battery's a little dead. Okay. First try. A lot of wind without the actual shroud. But stick my hand in there. Yeah, so that's a uh, stock exhaust, stock muffler. I hear a little bit of an exhaust leak on this manifold.
but overall seems fine. I'll put some more water in it. I should probably go get more water. All right, so she's running again. I had turned it off, it acted weird. Uh, so now the check engine light's on and you can see the, the idle actually jumping up and down. Uh, but good old pressure still. Uh, so it turned off, I slapped the intake on because it didn't have a map on it. So I slapped that on. After I slapped that back on, uh, it actually ran decent. Uh, and yeah, so now you can actually hear it struggling. So you can hear it actually like struggling to run, but anyways, I got the dry shaft on. So dry shafts on the chains, I don't know how well you can see that. Uh, but everything down here for the most part is set. And then maybe start working on the door handles and the mirrors and the airbag for the actual truck and the windows put the windows in because these are broken and uh just do little things like that to it get it ready uh but yeah you can still tell it's right under 210 so good oil pressure like i said that, that's really good oil pressure uh, but yeah i gotta get it tuned which i knew that but um so yeah once i get that fender on i got my hood slap the hood on I got the grill over there, slap that grill and put all the stock plastics and shit back on it um, and headlights. And I'm gonna leave it with no bumper for a while because I don't have a bumper yet. And uh, I'm probably either gonna take it to paint or wrap. So I don't, we'll see about that. Cladding body kit piece that gotta take off. But got the correct fender, GMC front, I mean, GMC fender because I had the bubble eye fender, that black one over there. But um, yeah, so. This side still has chrome mirror, uh, mirrors and the uh, black door handle and all that stock stuff. Um, but uh, let's see. Let me focus more on the engine stuff real quick. So suck the fender out. Uh, okay, so so um, fan shroud is on. This little intake is on. Uh, I think that's it. Yep. <laughs> I didn't do much there. Uh, it's off the jack stands now, so it's on the ground. I got to get air on those tires. Um, so door-wise, though, as you guys can tell, got the window on. So got that on. Those are broken. So I got the windows on. I swapped these out. These are color matched. And then the door handles are actually color matched, too. So it'll look a lot nicer now. And it actually works because my other door handle was black and it was broken so i swapped the lock too there's an actual lock piece in here you change it out um that way there you go so you change them out that way i can still use my key on this door um i haven't put the door panel on yet it's right there but the window motor works everything works it's actually got some kicker little uh door speaker so that's cool not too big of a rush on the interior but just wanted to go ahead and get these things on just kind of see how it looks so i can already tell it's gonna look good just, i'm gonna try to do all these three things to the other door tomorrow and then you know try to find the still the front end for this truck i still don't know what i want to go with the nolly front end just the 06 front end or should i just go back with the stock stuff which is the 99 front end which i don't really like it but I can't find an 06 uh, GMC bumper. And the Nally front end is more available. I see a lot of those more, but I don't really know how I feel about that Denali front bumper. Um, so we're still on that. I gotta find some different wheels that look a little nicer. And then uh, that's about it really guys after that. Like I said, get that hood on and everything situated. And once this truck is running pretty good, I need to get it tuned. Once it gets tuned and everything else, I should be able to start driving it around. It'll be all mixed matched colors and shit, but uh, down the road, I'll take it to get painted and shit. As far as today though, this is what we've done. 
I don't want to talk too much about this fidget long, but uh, yeah, this will be part two. So I'll add more stuff to this as I go. So stay, uh, stay tuned. Keep on watching, I guess.